Good morning. I was not going to do an introduction, but I found this bridge where no bikes are allowed and we're on the water and it's peaceful and it's quiet and I can hear the birds and I thought I gotta show you there are these beautiful, serenic, tranquil areas, even in big cities. We're still in Chennai right now, but you can see there's some water just right over here. Or maybe you can't see, I don't know, but we're headed to check into Leela's Palace, very prestige hotel in Chennai. But not quite ready to check in. So let's go get a little coffee. Maybe a little food too. Look how gorgeous this area is. I think it's a higher, wealthier income area because the houses are big, they're white, they're clean. They're like, hello, good morning. It's just so quiet. There's guards to every home. But really it's the, the greenery with like the colored homes like this, look at this. It is beautiful. I love that corner home. Can you give me 250? That's close enough. Close enough. Can I have that? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you, sir. No problem. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you, sir. Good. Where do I do? Where do I go? Do I go this way? Yes. Sir. Check in this way. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. Big bag in, little bag. You're little. It's okay. Uh, hello. How are you? Do I check in right here? Okay. Uh, do I, my hat's in the way, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much. Pleasure to have you Exciting. <gasps> Go this way. Hi, Tom. Hello. Pleasure to have you here. Yes, thank you. How was the journey? Uh, it's been good so far. <laughs> if you can help me out with your reservation name, Tom. Max McFarland. Please wow. welcome to you know. Okay, thank you so much. Wow, it's beautiful. The key card is here. Okay, thank you so much. And you can see the view from here. Oh, can I? Oh, wow. I'm so That's two level upgrade from your booking, sir. Oh, two level upgrade. Okay. Well, thank you so much for the work you did. My pleasure, sir. Have a great day. Have a pleasure and just stay. If anything is up, please do let us know by yeah, calling zero. Of course, I will. And for the Wi Fi, you can. Use it by your room number and name. Okay, perfect. The first name is the last name. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. See you around. I'll see you around. You're right. Ooh, so Leela's Palace stayed here because it is part of the fine hotels and resorts thing I get with my credit card. And so this place, if they had a room available upgrade, they would give it to me. We got two upgrade, two levels, and look at the view we got with it. Oh, that is awesome. I bet you that's some expensive real estate right there. But let's check out the room real quick and then I'm gonna shower up. We're gonna get a welcome drink and we're gonna get it going. First thing I noticed right here, designated working space. So nice, I just don't know what's in the box really. Ooh, look at this, this is all business here. Look at the cards. That is really neat. Look at that. I actually kind of, I may take this. I, I may take that later. Man, it's so nice. Can get in here. Let's see if I can get my legs in here. Oh yeah, plenty of room. Can get the legs in here. More storage space, private dining. Let's check this out. Oh, oh, look at them prices though. Oh my gosh, 1,200 rupees. Man, they up there, it's about 1,000 rupees for anything and everything. Good thing is, with that card too, we got in here, but I also got tea time, cocktail hour, free breakfast. I think at dinner, not dinner, I, I do get lunch somewhere as well. Look at this little leg room though. Doing all kinds of work right here. Nice, I like the art. Look at the art here. I wonder if this is like a local artist or something. Lots of bottled water, which I need. 
cookies. So we can get fresh fruits if we want. Don't smoke. I will try a cookie. I wonder if they'll bring me some chai or something. I just, want, I just want one cookie. Hmm. A pretty darn good cookie. Still think the ones in Delhi are better. Hmm. Not gonna get on the bed right now because I'm nasty, dirty. We'll try that in a second. Let's just let's finish up the room tour real quick. I don't know where to go. So, mirror. Are there, mirror. What? Oh my gosh. What? I thought the other one was a bathroom. Look at this. I got two bathrooms. Oh wait. Now this is just a space. And store your stuff. You got a yoga mat. Sleepers. Shoe polish. Shoe mint. Oh, and you can just leave them here. And they will clean them for you. They'll clean your shoes for you. Lots of space you'll never use. More mirrors. Brush to clean your stuff up. Things to put your shoes on. Nice hangers. I don't have any nice clothes, so that does not pertain to me at all. Hmm. Oh. Oh. It's one of the softest robes you, you'll ever get. Just nice, more mirrors, 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 mirrors. Shower, mess, look at the power of this thing. Look at the horsepower of this thing. This is like a, looks like something firemen would use. Like, looks like something you'd see firefighters use. Man, everything looks amazing. I'm just looking so forward to take in a shower and hey, look at this i never understood why you'd want like if you were gonna have a bathroom right and a toilet like you're probably gonna come to a place like this with a loved one so i don't know why you'd ever need this like non-see-through thing oh look smells bag toilet when it's oh wait they're still unwrapped mm, i think this might be it oh y'all y'all we may have a winner for best and softest toilet paper hotel. That is like a 4.25, maybe four and a half. Wow. Highly engineered toilet, nice little curve to it for your bottom bump gun that's already been sanitized. This place is unreal. And this is still maybe the best part. Sink over here for you. Sink over here for your, somebody else. Look at this, the mirror to do your makeup in the morning. It's massive. Got the time right here. I can call intercom. All types of goodies. I'm not gonna waste time with everything. A big, nice tub. And the most important thing, bath salts. And of course, the view. Okay. That room upgrade is pretty darn nice. But I'm about to shower. We'll catch up later. Look at the heating and cooling system. It's almost kind of like an old iPad. No, not iPad, but an iPod. I can just like do that. We can go down. I mean, you could just do that. It's more fun like this. And the lights here are cool too. You can turn it off. Maybe you just went low, medium, high. <laughs> They literally sent somebody up here from housekeeping asking if everything's okay. I've been here like five minutes. And he's like, do I need to add anything to your mini bar? And I was like, I haven't even looked. I forgot about the mini bar. Which brings me to this point. Oh, <laughs> that's why. Nothing in the fridge. Oh, maybe that's why he came and asked. Now I know why he came and asked about this. <laughs> yes, All right, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. Yes. You want another drink? Yeah, I got my drink and okay. everything. Uh, can I put some cookies on top of it? Of course, of course, of course. Come on in. You can always bring cookies. Uh, <laughs> can you play some cookies? Yeah. Okay, I actually already ate some. Well, I ate them all. Okay. How's it, sir? They're good, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Ooh. Man. 
<laughs> they must have cameras in here or something. They knew I already ate all my cookies. Anyways, let's try this welcome drink. And then we'll be off to shower. I, got, I think I gotta put like the welcome braids back on for this. I don't know what it is. Ah, uh, but it's carbonated and refreshing. Oh, pretty nice. Actually kind of firm, which I like. A little bit of firmness. Watch out, throw pillows. Oh, but it's where it's at. Man. Okay, going for tea time. Hello. Is tea time in here or is it somewhere else? Is tea time in here or is it? It's in here? Okay. Yes. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing great. Wow, it's very pretty through here. It really is like a palace. Yes. Man, it's huge. And then cocktail hour is in here too? Yes, sir. Okay, Same perfect. place. From 7 to 9. 7 to 9, perfect. Oh, wow. Enjoy. Thank you so much. What's your name? Sagarika. Sagarika. Nice to meet you. Are you from Chennai? Yes, sir. Are you from here? No, from. I'm from West Bengal, Kolkata. Oh, okay. Wow, you're over there. Yes, sir. You came far away. <laughs> Enjoy, sir. Okay, right, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a lovely time. You too. Ooh, this looks nice. And she is too friendly, isn't she? From over in Kolkata. And we're the first ones here because I'm starving. Look at this. Oh my gosh, all the French pastries, chocolate cookies, more like I had in my room. Hello, how are you? Anything you recommend? Yes, if you like, we have veg starters. Okay. And also perfect. non veggies. Okay, it perfect. On your I may try a lot, I'm so hungry. Yes, please. Sir. Okay, thank you so much. What's your name? My name is Chuba. Chuba, nice yes. to meet you, Chuba. Thank you, sir. I don't know, I will start off. I guess I'll try. The broccoli the sweet corn? Yeah. Oh wow, you're gonna do it. Too fancy. Um, can kind of just try the lamb turnover and scone. Oh, okay. Do some sweet in there too. Wow, you have oh you have barfi here and everything. Yes, sir. Where are you from, Juba? I'm from northeast. Northeast. Nagaland. Okay. Yes. Very nice. <laughs> Perfect. Here, I will carry. I feel weird having you carry for me. It's alright. <laughs> Very awkward for me. Okay, thank you so much. I'm by myself. I'm trying to find somewhere small. Looks like there's a small space back here. Perfect. Ooh. Just look at this place. Not only like the little Indian touches with the sculptures and the elephants and the colors. This place really is a palace. It is massive here but that was such a chuba she's a nice lady that's so awkward for me i don't like people to i don't like being like pampered like that sam how are you sam thank you so much now so this actually wasn't free you have to to get access to this in the uh cocktail hour as a lot, a lot of other benefits too like as well uh, you have to pay a little bit more money. So this was a little bit extra, but I was starving and uh, I forgot to eat a lot before I come here. And it's kind of how resorts and nice hotels do it. They're, you're so dang far away from everything that you kind of like have to eat here, right? But that's okay. Let's start. Maybe like a mini samosa. <laughs> oh, they got samosa. It's kind of cool how they've done it like that. Can I eat with my hands in a fancy restaurant? Of course you can. Don't feel awkward here. Everybody's welcome. Oh, it's actually really good. Do you have chai? Yes. Okay, perfect. Do you eat milk? Yeah, 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 oh, just chai. Okay. Just okay. like local chai. Okay, sir. That samosa <laughs> was delicious. I was like kind of in shock and I didn't want to like be too surprised because she was coming over here, but that was fabulous. It had broccoli and corn. I don't think I've ever been like, oh, I want a broccoli and corn sandwich. No crust. And it kind of works, I kind of like it. It's gotta be healthy for you. Broccoli and corn stuffed between white bread with mayonnaise. 
Hmm. Now I want to keep it going. Look at this light. It's supposed to be lamb. Lamb pastry here. Look at that. Not stuffed too much, but I mean, what I want you to look at is that air pocket. That's what you want with something like this. Look at that, that pocket full of crispiness and layers. Everybody loves layers, but we ain't got no parfaits today. And the last savory is the chicken salad bite. I'm trying to figure out why my bread is black. Oh, it must be charcoal bread. I'm sure they're putting charcoal in the bread. Very mayonnaise -y. Oh my gosh. I didn't know tea time, like, I'm not much of a tea time sandwich guy, but this is changing my mind. This is blowing my mind a little bit. And last thing we got is a scone. I love a good scone. Kind of getting a little early into the sweets, but I saw it and I could not not get it. I think this is like, that's not, it's not grape. Whoever is in charge of tea time went to pastry school. Every different type of bread I've had has been perfection. How? You know, I've been in India for a while now. I'm not surprised when I get good sweets and good snacks and good food. What does surprise me is like the things outside of the Indian cuisine scope. They're so dang good in the country. So overlooked. I mean, this is a scone, white bread, kind of like a, it wasn't quite like, it was like a, a French, kind of like a French baguette with charcoal. We had the, the puff pastry and every single one was spot on. It would make Paul Hollywood handshake after handshake after handshake. Mmm, mmm. I'm gonna get round two. I'll be back in a little bit. I didn't mean for this this whole segment to be so long, but when's this dang good? What else are you gonna do? Wow. I am so happy. Ooh wee. Look what I got. Kind of moving more towards dessert, which about to touch my savory. I don't like that at all. Creeps me out. Can I move that one? That one's too fancy. I got another samosa. I got the chicken salad. Then we gotta move to dessert. More scone action, cause that is delicious. They have a milk, burfi. They call it single origin, whatever that is, and a madeleine with like a chocolate ganache. Mm. And then the chicken salad. Ain't nothing to be missed with right here. Mm. Wow. <laughs> mm-hmm. Perfect. Awesome. I'm sure I will. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're most welcome. Sugar if you like. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Ah, that is masali. I usually don't add any sugar. Actually, let's take a bite of one of these first. I bet you we won't need anything. Let the let the sugar come from my pastry. That's gonna be the perfect balance. I gotta say, but look at that stone right there. Perfect ratios. Mm. Man, I gotta say, this is real masala tea. Like I kind of got used to the Chennai version here where it doesn't really have a lot of ginger or cardamom. I don't think it has any. It's strong with the cardamom and ginger. Wow. Let me go for the one I think everybody cares about. The burfi. Look at it. Look just how... Oh, it just looks so soft. And... Mmm, milk burfi, man. Wow. Wow. I can't. My brain's not working because it's being overwhelmed by how delicious that was. Look at the single orange. I feel like this is not the way to do it. It's kind of jiggly. Ooh, it's like pudding. 
like chocolate pudding. Oh. Let's finish it off. <laughs> Look at this right here. Isn't that crazy? Not quite as good. The best thing is the burpee in the scone. Thank you. See you at seven. Okay. I'm making appointments with everybody. <laughs> oh man, I love like staffs. I mean, it's an over generalization, but the nice hotel staffs in India are like the most fun. I was just sitting there talking to everybody. I turned the camera off and you sit there and joke with them. And it's a cool, as, as you saw, like everybody's from somewhere different. So I love asking, cause that's the beauty of India, right? Is India is massive. It has all these languages and cultures and it, it can be overwhelming at times, but it's fun to talk to people and hear about their, their, their culture, their food, their traditions, their things. And I just love getting and talking to people. So this is just a great way to meet many people. I mean, you saw everybody was Northeast, Northwest. We had people from local here in Chennai, they're just from all over. And <laughs> oh, it's so much fun to talk to everybody, but I'm going to go do some work and then we will come back for cocktail hour. And then you're going to go to dinner with me. Uh, just give you a rundown next day. We'll explore the hotel some. We're going to get outside and go find some more local food in Chennai as well. Catch you in a little bit. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, it's changed. Now they have all the alcohol. Wine, Shiraz, Cabernet. Oh, it's actually produced in India. I wonder where. How are you? I did not meet you last time. What's your name? Suraj. Suraj. Nice to meet you, Suraj. Where are you from? Uh, Punjab. Punjab? Yeah. Uh, what area? From Jalanda. Jalanda. Yeah. I've not been yet, but okay. That's very nice. How long have you been please, in Chennai? Please come there. Okay, I will. Definitely. Next time. Yeah. <laughs> I think next time I'm in India, I'm going to do more like very far north. So you I'd should love explore to. North India also. Definitely. Will. She agrees. Okay. <laughs> everybody agrees like go north okay i guess i'll take my seat away from everybody i don't want to bother anybody can i try the uh yes kingfisher kingfisher okay yes I'll the best biggest, yeah. thank you you never even told me the city you're from you said northeast what city yes i'm from Nagali. okay yes where is that it's from it's i'm from india so but it's from Northeast India. Right. Oh, like Meghalaya or more towards? It's Nagalin. Okay. So Meghalin. Oh, this okay. the one. Ah, yes. Nagalin. Wow. <laughs> so very, very, very good health yes. Nagalin. I never knew about that. It's like on the border with Myanmar. Yes. Wow. That's all Myanmar. I wish y'all could see this. She is from Nagaland, which is right here on the border with Myanmar. I thought that was crazy because I knew about Meghalaya and Assam, but I never knew about Nagaland. It's, it's way up here. I mean, it's in the corner kind of like China, Myanmar, more for, it's further east than Bhutan. Wow, that's insane. Oh, I love talking to people. That is King Fisher's. It's just King. Gotta build up that appetite. You know, my real thing is like, where is everybody? You really need to upgrade. Look at, there's still nobody here. For me, it's like, the upgrade, why would you not do it? It's like $75. Look at all the stuff you get. I might have to come back tomorrow. Mango tart, apple crumb, dark chocolate, more milk barfi. Look at this, this looks good. The Kung Pao Ladyfinger. Chili fish. The stuff's good if it's a, anything like the tea time, you know it's gonna be delicious. So I got the royal package, it was extra, right? Like 75 bucks. But now I get a free ride to the hotel, late checkout, I got tea time cocktail. I get some garments like washed, I think, maybe ironed, just all kinds of good stuff. I mean, for me, it's like, as much as I can eat and drink, it's definitely a good deal. So I don't know, we're gonna drink a few more times. I'm sorry, at least finish this. And we'll head to dinner. Okay, so we got the spa. I don't know where the restaurant is. Hmm. Oh my gosh. 
Ah, here we go. Jama Bar. Hello, how are you? I have an 8 o'clock reservation. Max. Uh, room number sir? 926. 926 right? Yes, perfect. Oh, look, you can see in the kitchen here. This is like a small section. Hey guys, whole space, you can see him cooking. That's pretty cool. Here, okay? Yeah. You sure it's too big for one person? No, <laughs> Okay, perfect. I'll sit here. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, what's your name? Ramesh. Ramesh. Nice to meet you. Are you from Chennai? Nepal. Nepal? Yeah. I'm going to Nepal on the 31st. Oh, with this festival? Yeah, on the 31st, I'm going to Nepal. Where? Uh, well, I'll start in Kathmandu, but then I'll explore. What what city are you from? Uh, I'm from the uh, north, north side, like uh, Kanchenpur is there, Kanchenpur. That's pretty far north, yeah, isn't it? Really far. Yeah, it's way up there. I don't know if I'll make it there, but okay. <laughs> this hotel is so diverse. It's insane. There's people from everywhere here. Is there anything you recommend? Or? Yeah, today we have that special menu. Okay. Try this one. Oh, is this like a tasting menu? Oh. Yes, yes. Okay, let's just do this. Okay, perfect. That veg or non -veg? Uh, I'll do non-veg. Non-veg, fine. Okay. Do I have to pick? Do I need, do I need to pick or do I get all... No, do I need to choose? Is written over here. Oh, you get all of this? Everything. Like oh, testing, man. Y'all right? have big appetites. <laughs> but you will definitely enjoy it. Okay, perfect. Yeah, let me just do the non-veg uh, okay, non testing. And then can I get a kingfisher? Yes, yes, sir. Perfect. Okay. Wow, the kitchen is crazy. I wish I could get in there. Like, I love being in kitchens. They got one, two, three. I think they got th four tandoors. You see a guy in the walk back there? Uh, yeah, I'll get some water too. But it's sparkling or that? Uh, just steel. Steel water. Yeah. Room temperature fine? Yeah, that's fine. Is everybody from your hometown as tall as you? Yes, sir. Is everybody from your hometown as tall as you? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're so tall. <laughs> Look at this. Put a nice metal container okay this is some that indian chutneys that uh, indian condiments so this is mint, mint chutney. chutney that is mango pickle that is raw papaya pickle okay that is, that is like a roasted papar is this a char chutney that achar yes okay pickle. cool perfect that is uh, tapioca like a crispy papar oh this one like uh, tapioca oh wow well, you have three kinds here <laughs> very nice thank you brother this reminds me of my days in indonesia eating the krupuk look at that I'm hungry, I'm putting some mint chutney. Oh. It's still warm. Look at this one. I don't think you put this on the cracker, but I will. Mmm. Oh. Sweet, tart, fruity, sugary. Hello. Can I stop it, Of course. <laughs> Ooh, 9.5 out of 10. Nice. <laughs> this is beautiful. Chicken soup. Which soup? Chicken soup. Chicken soup. With uh, almond puree. Oh, almond puree. Gorgeous. So we got chicken soup here, almond puree with a walnut, is that a walnut? Cilantro. Yep, that's hot. Ooh. The chicken's been in the tandoor. You can get that smoke, that high heat. Mmm, my almond's been used more of like a thickening agent. Oh, this is the first starter. Only like six things. <laughs> oh, this is a galoti kebab, lamb. Okay. There's fish, mm -hmm. shiva's fish. This is chicken. Okay. Uh, then this is a prawn, oh, a dagger prawn. Big prawn. Yeah. Very nice. Enjoy stuff. Thank you. That's crazy detail. You get the net on your lime here so you don't get the seeds. I'm really excited. I think I can finally get some a jar with all of this. So this is a lamb. Oh, there's a little bread underneath it. Chicken, fish. And the prawn, look how massive this prawn is. So let's do it the, this lamb kebab. It's so soft and so tender. It reminds me of the, like the lamb kebab I had in 
lắc đầu à, tuyên đề cơ bà bì wow that is soft the bread underneath is crispy oh look sweet chutney which is the tamarind and then mint chutney right here there it is right here boom wow mm. that is gorgeous look how juicy that is wow I mean, if you told me like the head chef or whoever created this menu had some experience in Lucknow at Tunde Kebab, Tunde Kebabi, shoot, I'd believe you. Mm. And I've been finding every excuse I possibly can to have that jar. Extra mint chutney for the chicken. Fish doesn't really need anything. Just a little gravity. <clears throat> Look at that. I didn't ask him what type of fish it was. I don't even have a good guess for you. Hmm. That's the beauty though. If it's a little dry, you get a little bit of this extra pickle stuff. Maybe just throw some mint chutney on it. A little extra lime. No big deal. Hmm. But I think it's going to be the piece de resistance. It was very nice, Fine. thank you. Very good. You the lamb kebab was really good. That's, that's it was really nice. That you will definitely enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Now, after this, your main course is coming. Okay, perfect. Promise slightly disappointing. A little overcooked, but it's okay. You could just give me like three of those lamb kebabs and tuck me in bed, and I'd been good to go. Oh, man. That looks like a lot of food. <laughs> Okay, perfect. That fresh naan ready to go. Naan and the roti one. Okay, y'all yeah, got like four tandoors in there, man. I don't think I've had that one yet in India. Okay. Roti mati chicken one. Okay. Uh, lettuce finger. Okay, lettuce finger. Oh, okra. <laughs> Lady's finger. It always gets me because we call it okra. Oh, look at that with all the tomato. That looks delicious. Oh, it's special ball. This one's different. Biryani. Oh, I got the biryani. Multi-dog biryani. Wow. I think I gotta start with this. I've never had... Yeah, I have. Kind of like a thick dosa, isn't it? Mmm. But dosa would have the lentils in it. He said this is just rice flour. Let's start with the fish. We are in Chennai. So why would you not want to start with a fish curry? Wow. Beautiful, aromatic. Oh. Wow. So in Vietnam, we do have some like rice flour stuff, of course, right? We have what's called a ban xeo. This kind of is almost like the in-between a ban xeo and a ban hak. Which is like a thick rice cake that's fried up in oil and a thin one. And this is right there in between. It's got a little bit of fermentation to it because it's got a little sourness. Oh, but in that fish curry, that is gorgeous. Mmm. And give me enough naan to last me a week here. No shortage of food at all. Let's try the lady fingers. Hope everything is okay. Ah, oh, it's been delicious. Are you head chef? Yes. My compliments. Thank you so much. It's been delicious. Thank you so much. Yes. Enjoy yeah, I will come talk to you after. <laughs> yeah, but I've really, I've really enjoyed it. Thanks. Yeah. Mm. Oh man, I tell you what, lady fingers are what I would call okra and tomatoes. Just two things that should go together, the acidityness, the sweetness, with like that slight slimy crunch and pop from the okra. Mm. And I like a nice naan, you hear that? Crunch from the naan. I love a nice lawn. Lawn, I love a nice lawn. I love a good naan, a little lamb here. Mm. 
I know their dal mukni is their signature here, but their lamb, all their lamb dishes have been out of this world. And I've been saving this one. I think it was chicken. And look at it, the way they've reduced that sauce to where it's thickened up into almost like a, a dry gravy. It's like right in between a dry and a wet gravy. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Let's try the biryani out. Get it how it's supposed to be, get a little gravy on it. I'm gonna steal some of the lamb gravy from it. Spiced very heavily. You can see it. It's actually kind of clumping together because it's been cooked in so much of the gravy. Mm. So this is it, this is what they said they come for. Look at that heavy cream on there. Man, give me cream, ghee, dal, mutney. That is insane. If y'all know, y'all know. That's gonna be heavy. That is gonna be the bite. I'm excited. Excited is an understatement. Anybody that knows Black Doll and how, how heavy and rich and bold and umami of a doll it is, and then you combine it with so much ghee and so much cream, you understand how good that bite is. That's the signature of the house. I don't care if you come here and eat veg, non-veg, doll mutney is a must. Oh my gosh. If there's a reason I come back to the restaurant, forget the service, forget the people, and just focusing on the food, the dog mucked me. That's why I would come down here every single night. Wow. I'm sorry I have not been paying attention y'all, but I only have eyes for this. Man. With the char. I gotta make room for dessert. Dang. There's a lot here too. <laughs> okay, jalebi, rubri, gulab jamun, and helwa. Okay, perfect. Ooh, the trio. The, is this the most iconic like Indian sweets? I mean, I know you get burfi and ladu and all of those, but these three right here may be the like iconic three. Everything got like a little shaved, or these two got shaved almond. This has pistachio and a little petal of something. Oh, let's go to Helwa. I think it would be the least sweet. Applesauce is a terrible like way to compare this to, but that texture looks like applesauce. Hmm. You know when they mix it? It's warm. It just, oh, it makes you, it makes you close your eyes. You know what it really reminds me of? If you've ever made brownies before and you've licked brownie batter, that is the texture of this halwa. The nutty, very fine textured semolina flour. Mm. Come here, I'm gonna give y'all front row seats to this. Gulab jamun. Loaded with sugar. Soft melt in your mouth. Last and finally, jalebi with rubbery. Oh my gosh. Last thing I probably needed. Two of them too. Why'd they give me two? Why are the portion sizes so big here? I'm a disgusting human being. I don't know how I ate that. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, perfect. Thank you so much. Man, I appreciate you, brother. Is the head chef, did she step outside? Yeah. I was just gonna say thank you to her. If she's busy, just tell her I said thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Oh, I did. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> So she is right in the middle of a lot of stuff she's got to do. Let's not bother her. Whew. I hit the spot for, for sure, the dal mukni. 
for sure. Dang, it smells good in here. I will catch y'all at the gym. In the morning, nice and early, let's get it. Let's work off this full old belly. Um, I didn't want to show, like, I <laughs> came back to my room and look. They like made the bed, got my slippers ready. Uh, I get some laundry service with the upgrade and they turned my TV to where it faces my bed. I thought that was kind of cool. And a pillow menu. Hmm. Namaste, guest is our God, is our ancient badass say it. Namaste is our greeting that symbolizes saluting the divine in you. The gesture is indicated by folding palms placed before the chest. The bowing down of the head is a gracious form of extending friendship with our love and humility.